Video 2 with Mike the Architect going through the options of Ark Survival Evolved. So let's get into it. <clears throat> First thing here, excuse me, is uh, the resolution. You're going to have to figure out what your monitor preference is and what you're using. Uh, this can change uh, varying if you have uh, dual, triple monitors, etc. Uh, this constantly changes. So my largest setting right now is 1680 by 1050 so that's what I have selected uh, currently I do window mode uh, full screen so that everything is uh, in here however I capture off to the side on another uh, separate monitor um, here you can click uh, custom on the uh, drop down menu for graphics quality and uh, you can kind of see here that you have low, medium, high, epic, and custom. Off to the side over there, uh, you can see graphics cards, um, which will kind of show you if you have that graphics card. This is what the suggested graphics quality setting is. Uh, when you click these, what it's going to do is it's going to change all this stuff in here and all these things down here. Um, currently, I only have a couple selected because I found a pretty good um, uh, setting where I can uh, do the recording and um, get some pretty good frame rate out of this. You can see up in the corner here it says 120 right now. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but I'm running uh, it just says 120 for frames here. I turned sky sky quality and ground clutter density and distance all the way down just to help out with uh, some tutorial recordings here um, so you can see let's just show here uh, you'll see all these are high and epic when I click low it's going to turn all these things to low but still keep our anti-aliasing um, high um, what that's going to do is that's going to help sharpen uh, or, or blend the edges of uh, all of your um, uh, just things in the game. The dino, the person, the ground structures, everything uh, makes it kind of uh, more realistic. So you want to keep that as high as possible. So that's why they have that one as the only epic thing, uh, epic setting uh, when you still go under here and select uh, low. I believe yes yeah, so um, when you click low it still gives you anti aliasing epic so we'll want to remember to keep that up at epic um, so if you turn to high um, it turns a few things like world tile buffers um, up to epic view distance how far things are in the distance from you uh, if you need to get some more frames you can lower this one because it will uh, only generate things closer to you as the things in the distance aren't really as necessarily important. Um, Anti-aliasing is on. Uh, Post-processing, uh, this is going to really help um, increase some frames uh, if you take this down to maybe uh, low, medium, um, depending on your graphics card. Again, you can use this setting up here uh, to see just off to the right that little pop out uh, which gives you an example of what type of graphics card uh, you have. Uh, if you don't know a graphics card you have um, then this might be a little bit difficult to set up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Um, okay so general shadows this is how many shadows appear throughout the game. Uh, we like to have those on high if you can so that it gives that real good texture to the game. It is well as the terrain shadows uh, shadows casted by trees sunlight etc is really beautiful in this game so you want to have those turned up high if possible as long with the textures uh, sky quality uh, down is going to give you less clouds no clouds up is going to give you a lot of clouds um, ground clutter density is how much uh, foliage uh, things that really do not affect the game. It's just kind of visuals. So you can't pick this stuff up or harvest it It's just gonna be some extra grass that's uh, in the ground some extra rocks that are lying around that uh, really they do not serve any purpose except to be visually stimulating Ground clutter distance is gonna be how far this stuff uh, appears in front of you and uh, how far away from you um, 
that ground clutter appears. High quality anisotropic filtering. Um, most of this stuff, unless you're going to be running on a higher um, uh, graphics card, you're going to want to turn down. Uh, I don't really know why anybody would want motion blur on. That's annoying to me. It's kind of weird. It makes the screen blur on the sides as you're running. Um, it's kind of kind of awkward. So, um, film grain I generally don't have on. I think that's a uh, personal preference. Distance field ambient occlusion. Occlusion. Not sure, but I keep these uh, off right now. I may cover that more in another uh, tutorial. Dynamic tessellation, distance field shadowing. Um, anything that I have found has really made a difference has been this high quality materials. Uh, that's just some general uh, gra um, uh, orbs floating around in the air, um, just maybe some uh, fireflies, various little bugs that are kind of out and about that you catch uh, when you don't have this selected. It's just a little more plain. Uh, subsurface scattering, um, that is when uh, some things hit the the ground such as um, uh, like dino footprints I believe uh, shows like a dust particles um, so we keep I keep that on and high quality visual effects uh, there's some various things that fall under there which um, don't really I think make too much of the gameplay difference uh, but if your graphics card can support them uh, go ahead and turn them on uh, color grading, light booms, light shaft, uh, these are all things that are going to make the game look better, but they can take uh, uh, a little bit away from your um, uh, field of view. Uh, light booms, light shafts can make it bright. You can get that sun in your eyes sometimes you can't see, which can possibly put you in a bad situation. Uh, mesh level of detail, you can take this down again just to get some more frames per second out of your... Um, your card there. So I know we uh, didn't really go too deep on these things in here, but again, so if you're running a decent machine, um, I would say hit this high here and then just maybe go through and, uh, oh, I didn't talk about resolution scale. This is the one that's going to give you a lot of difference. Um, no matter what you have for these, this is going to make a difference in game. And I'll show you that uh, in our next uh, little section here. Um, where I change a few of these and you can go in and see the game. So um, we'll get over to that next. <laughs>